It's a startling number. 40% of high school students here in New Orleans have been held back at least one grade. And that's according to a study on the retention rates. Chris Jackman takes a look at that study and has reaction from educators and community leaders. Chris? That's, that's right, Tom and Natalie. Now, educators say there are a number of factors leading to this, but one of the main ones has to deal with Hurricane Katrina. The state has a policy of holding back students who don't perform at a high level on test scores. And now the Education Research Alliance is analyzing how that's affecting children getting an education in the city of New Orleans. Well, we found that 40% of New Orleans high school students are, are held back or have been held back at least once uh, throughout their careers. Another finding, at least 46% of high school seniors were at least one year older than their peers. Dr. Douglas Harris, director of the Alliance, says they helped analyze the statistics for the study. The study looked at local students in all publicly funded schools in 2014, focusing on their high school and elementary school years. We have a pretty good sense that the state's policy around grade retention, which applies in grade four through eight, or especially did in some of the early years where the policy was more intense, uh, that those were the grades where students were most likely to be held back. But many of the students left behind at least a year, Dr. Harris says, were affected by Hurricane Katrina. A lot of students were held back uh, just because of the disruption of moving and switching schools. I saw the report and it is troubling. Erica McConduit is the president and CEO of Urban League of Louisiana. She says what she notices in both Baton Rouge and New Orleans is the need for mental health and services that can help children succeed. There are many more social needs um, and wraparound services that we have to put around our young people to make sure that not only are we providing them academic, uh, options, but more so options that speak to uh, their comprehensive needs. The Orleans Parish School District released a statement about the study tonight, saying in part that it isn't good for any city or school system to hold back a significant number of students. And that's why students, families, and the school board want funding for better pre-K, along with high-quality schools in every community, and the best teachers. Now, Dr. Harris did say a positive thing he did notice was that the data showed the likelihood of students dropping out if they were retained is actually lower the rest in the re than the rest of the state, which suggests that schools are paying attention to those students. Which is a good thing, but still a pretty surprising statistic, Chris. Absolutely. Thank you.